So, welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you are here this morning. May God bless you. And I'm happy. Are you happy? Amen. And I feel blessed um, by knowing you. And um, yes, yeah, so if you have your Bible, this morning I want to speak to you a little bit. And Romans 8, verse 16. So precious word. And you will see eternal glory. The previous, I think it was in this week that I preached on and more exceeding glory. Alright, there's two types of glory. The one is an Old Testament glory, a yearlikeit, and um, the, 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 the exceeding glory, the year, you know, he wants us to move in exceeding glory. And this morning I want to speak to you about eternal glory. Eternal glory. <coughs> God wants us to have eternal. Now that word eternal means everlasting. It has no beginning and no end. Eternal, that word. And the glory means a yearlikeit. It's a light. It is life. It is splendor. Actually glory is all that God is and what He pertains and who he acts and what he has, that is glory. And I want him. And you may say with, your, with me this morning, I want more of him. More of him and less of me. Alright. Um, there is too many Christians that is very... Uh, Liggeraak, sensitive, is that the word? They are too sensitive. Everything touched them. Every problem touched them. Every situation touched them. And their whole life and their whole emotions and their whole spirit is connected to that small touching things of this world. But God wants us to have glory. Alright. Uh, so if you have your Bibles, I'm speaking on eternal glory. Romans 8 verse 16. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Verse 16. Verse 17. Now if we are His children, listen to this. Alright. If we are his children, are you his child? Amen. I am his child. Listen what is following now. If you are his children, I don't care what preachers are preaching. Listen what the scripture is saying. If you are a child, it's me. Then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. You are an heir of God the Father and you are a co-heir with Christ. Now listen, if, if you, if, are you a child? Yes. So you are a co-heir with Christ. An erfenaam, a mede deel erfenis with Jesus Christ. That's awesome. It's good news. Then, if indeed we share in the sufferings Oh boy, oh no. If you are a child, you are a co-heir with Christ. If indeed we share in the sufferings, now Lord, if we share in the sufferings, in order that we may also share in His glory. So God, is God and he sits and says you can share in my glory are you a child you are a co-heir with me you can share in my glory you can have my glory what is glory everything that God is that he have 
Or is it as? As. And that he stands for. You can share it. You can have it. We. It's good news. But. Hey, if. Indeed we share in his sufferings. In order that we may also share in his glory. So this a word that's not lacking. All right, so I'm going to draw my board, a thing like that, and that's you. Okay, and then I'm going to make it like this, and we can do it this. <laughs> this side is light. Is it energia? Yeah. Is it sure? Yeah. Light and light. All right, this is you, eh? That side. All right. God wants us to share in His glory. God wants to share in His glory. But the glory is His. Is it, is it like that? God wants us to share in His glory. So think on this. It is His glory it is his light it is his life listen God does not want to sh share your glory God wants you to share his glory so you are a child you are a co-heir so you can share in his glory not your glory his glory that, does that make sense? Alright. And share in His suffering. How do you spell that? E. Huh? E. 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 I. E. F. I. E. E. Suffering. Alright. So it is His glory. Watch now. And <laughs> he's suffering. <laughs> Not your suffering. Why? That's awesome. This is a revelation to the church. God does not want you to share in your suffering. God wants you to share in his suffering. <laughs> Jesus paid it all. All to him. Sin has left the crimson stain. He washed me white as snow. His suffering. All right. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Look here. I consider that the present sufferings that we are going through are not worth to compare with the glory that will be revealed in us the glory I want you to share in us the glory in us so you are a child of God and God wants to share with you his glory his light his life all he is and all he stands for and all that he has. Alright? And he wants to share it. And give that glory. In you. Very important thing. Now. The next verse we all know. For the creation waits eagerly. For the expectations of the sons of God to be revealed. So what 
is going to show the sons of God. His glory. And where will the glory be? In us. All right. So we must understand there's so many people and preachers that preach that the sons of God, there is going to come a time when the sons of God is going to be revealed. All right? Listen, this is written 2,000 years ago already. The glory is in us. God wants to share His glory in us. All right. The glory in us will be the manifestations of the sons of God. So when the sons of God are manifest or bring to the front or are revealed, the children of God are being revealed, that means the glory will be shown in us. Is that true? All right. I cannot explain that more better than what I've said. Amen. All right. James 1 verse 2, 3 and 4 and 12. James is uh, Jacobus. This was a brother of brother of Jesus. All right, James 1 verse 2 and 3. Consider it wholly joyful. My brethren, whenever you are enveloped, enveloped in or encounters, trials or any sort or fall into virus temptations. All right, so now here's words. Whenever we envelop in or a counter trials all right there's that word trials all sorts of temptations temptations all right Trials, temptations. Verses 3. Be assured and understand that the trials and proving of your faith bring out endurance and steadfastness and patience. So, the trials and temptations brings forth something in you. What? It brings forth faith. What? Five. It brings endurance. Do you know what is endurance? You can endure. Endurance. Is it right? Swell. Well. All right. You know that's five in endurance. Okay. Steadfastness. Do you know what steadfast? You're standing fast. Steadfast. So, ach, need to stand. You know that steadfastness, all right. And patience. Patience. That's why I need you, because of the spelling. <laughs> patience. I think it is, no, it's almost bad. It's, it's wrong, all right. Patience is like this. I think, me. Yes. All right, patience. Verse 4, but let endurance, okay, let endurance, steadfastness, patience, have full play and do a thorough work so that you might be people perfectly and fully developed with no defects lacking in nothing. 
lacking in nothing. All right. So, listen here. I want you to see this. Trials and all kinds of temptations must make you happy. Because that will bring something good. Faith, endurance, what's the steadfastness and patience. Is trials and temptations lacker? All right. This is this side. It's the suffering. It's the suffering part. Is it true? But can you see how it brings good? Can you see how it brings good? It is like a star. Listen now. A star shines always. But in the dark, it shines greater. Is that true? So in you, you must share in his sufferings. I'm going to explain that. All right, and his glory. The sufferings brings goodness. Your sufferings, temptations, and trials brings goodness. I'm going to explain to you the difference between his sufferings and your trials and temptations. All right, that you must not be confused with that. I just want you to see where is all this stuff in. In you. Alright. Verse 12. Blessed, happy, and to be envied. Do you know what is envy? I want to be like you. I envy you. I'm jealous of you. I want to be like you. Blessed, happy, and to be envied is the man who is patient under trials and stands up under temptation. For when he has stood the test and been approved, he will receive the victory's crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. Listen. What is a crown of life? Victory's crown of life. Blessed and happy is the man who is patient and at trials and temptations. You will receive a crown. You will receive a crown of life which God has promised. What is a crown? Kingship. Oh, you forget so easy. I just said before this. I said to you the trials and temptations leads to five. Endurance, steadfastness, and patience. Then I'm just reading further. It says, Blessed are the man who is patient under trials and stand temptations. For when he stood, he will receive the crown of life. This is the crown of life. I know you want to go to heaven and receive a crown. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will shout and shout the victory. <laughs> so many people want to go to heaven to receive a crown. But he says what is the crown of life. It is Listen, in other words, a sharing of glory. Because if you share in His sufferings, you are a co-sharer of His glory. What is His glory? Light and life. His glory is light and life. But if you go through trials and temptations, you will have faith that stands, endurance, steadfastness and patience. If you, you are blessed when you go through this, because you receive the crown of life. What is the crown of life? Can you see it? Can you see it? Amen. So where will be the crown of life? In you. In you. Don't get any Leticia. It will be in you. 
When will the sons of God be revealed? When they share in the sufferings of Christ and also in His glory. When will the sons of God be revealed? When the faith stands there or endurance they endured when they are steadfast and when they are patient. Listen, we have teach so many years that the sons of God that needs to be revealed is something to come. And for generation to generation, the generations is waiting for when will the sons of God ever be revealed. Because we think it's going to be people that will walk through doors, Walking on water. But listen, the previous week when I spoke on the, the, the heart of the Father, God spoke so clearly to me. He said to me, listen, the people that will show my heart will be the sons of God that is going to be revealed. The people that is going to show my heart for man is the people that is going to be, they are going to be the sons that is being revealed. And then God opened this heart of him for me. And I can see the glory and the glory that must be in me. And I see that the crown of life is in me. And that the crown of life has to do with those four things. And those four things will show the sons. And show that you have a crown of life. I will give a crown of life for those who have gone through trials and temptations. A crown means authority. Life means life. Life means glory. Because this sight I want to share in the glory of God. Glorious light. And Jesus is the light and life of men. Light and life is the same thing. Do you know that music and spirit is actually also the same thing? Light, sound, life, glory is actually the same thing. That's why when we sing songs, we can go into glory. We can go into life. We can go into light. When we sing. That's what happened to us when we sung this morning. We sang this morning. Listen to Corinthians 4 verse 6. Corinthians 4 verse 6 this is my last scripture but I want to explain to you and bring it all together listen now to the words alright where is glory in us we are the sons that share in the glory of God but also in his sufferings alright in his sufferings not your sufferings. Now, his sufferings is not trials and temptations. All right. All right. Let's see. For God who said, this is now so awesome scripture. Oh, I love this scripture. And Prophet Quibus also loved this scripture many times. I've heard him say it in his songs, in his time of prophecies in his preaching this and this is so precious to me as well for God who said let light shine out of darkness might let light shine out of darkness might this light to shine in our hearts So, where is the darkness? In the heart. Our hearts. God, for God said, let light shine out of darkness. Comma. 
Might this light to shine out of our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge? Give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. This is big words, but God wants to give us knowledge of the glory. Forget now of God. God wants to give us glory, knowledge of the glory. Whose glory? Of God. Where? In the face of Christ. But what does one God want to give us? Glory. You are a co-sharer of His glory. What does He say is glory? He says light. Let light shine out of darkness. Let His light shine out of your hearts. So darkness is your heart. And life and light must shine out of you. Remember, out of you. Alright? In the face of Christ Jesus. This is awesome. Because how do you get knowledge? What does it mean in the face of Jesus Christ? That means a God and come here. Yes. This is my wife. Just come into the video. All people must... Okay, you must look to me. <laughs> she is now Jesus. She has the glory. I will get the glory. I will get the glory in the face of Jesus. Looking into his face. In the presence of her. Looking into her face, I will receive her glory. Alright? So you must be present and close by to looking in someone's face to receive that. You look into his face to receive the glory. Presence. Listen now. The next verse. But we have treasures in jars, in a jar. Do you know what's a jar? A cup. We have treasure in jars of clay to show the all superposing power. We have treasures. So another word, listen here. Yeah? For light or glory of crown of life. Crown, crown of life. Another word for light or life or crown of life or glory is, listen, all surpassing power. Because he says, we have treasures. Another word is, this is a treasure. In earthen vessels. The light must shine out of darkness. Light must shine out of our hearts. We have a treasure. Light. We have a treasure. Of jars of clay. In jars of clay. Meaning we are jars of clay. Cups of clay. To show the all super passing power so another word of all these nice words is super passing power it is super passing power super passing power is from God and not from us where is this super passing power in us. Where is this life? In us. Where is the light that must shine in our hearts? In us. Where is the glory that we are co-sharers? 
to be revealed in us. Can you see? Everything is in us. Not surround us. It is in us. But if it comes in us, it will shine around us. But it will come in us. It will come in us. How will the sons of God being revealed when something is revealed in them? They preach when the sons of God is being revealed is when people see something outside of them. The sons of God is being revealed when we look to them and see something is revealed in them. What? Glory. What? Light. What? Life. What? Surpassing power. You understand? It's in us. We are hedged and praised on every side, troubled, oppressed in every way, but not cramped or crushed. We suffer embarrassments and are perplexed and unable to find a way out, but not driven in despair. This is now this side again, the trials and temptations. That brings out these. Because we are hedged and pressed on every side. We are troubled. We are pressed every way. We are cramped or crushed. We suffer embarrassment. And are perplexed and unable to find a way out. But not driven to despair. We are pursued, persecuted, and hard driven. But not deserted to stand alone. We are struck down to the ground, but never struck out and destroyed. Always carry about in the body the liability and exposure to the same putting to death that the Lord Jesus suffered. We are carrying in the body the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some translations. Do you read that? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. King James says, we are carrying in our body the death of our Lord Jesus. What? What? We are carry the death of our Lord Jesus in our body. What does it mean? He's suffering. He's suffering. Listen, always carrying about in the body the liability and exposure to the same putting to death that the Lord Jesus suffered. So that the resurrection life of Jesus also may be shown forth by and in our bodies. So, resurrection life. Does that sound like a crown of life? Resurrection life? Resurrection life? Does that sound to superpassing power? Does that sound like glory? Does that sound like light? Because why? In our bodies, we bear the sufferings, the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. So they use words that we do not understand. But the death of our Lord Jesus Christ in our bodies means the sufferings that Jesus went through. We share in that. We share in that. We don't need to go through sufferings because we share in His sufferings. We don't have our own glory. We share in His glory. Now, that is revealed in us because we need the sufferings 
and the glory in our body to be shown to men. I'm going to explain it now to you. When that is shown to men, that is when the sons of God is being revealed. I'm going to explain it now to you. It's actually so easy. Capizi. It's so easy. And we, we miss it. I'm going to say to you, I'm going to say, I can see it. I can see it. Listen, always carry in our body the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that the resurrection life of Jesus also may be shown forth. Resurrection life may be shown in our bodies. And then it ends. For we are alive, are always being given over to death for Jesus. We are giving over to death for Jesus. Say, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal bodies. Verse 15. For all things are for your sake. That the abandoned grace might through the thanksgiving of many renderedness grace. Oh, yet. Redound in grace. No, redound. Another word, increase. Sorry, there must be a space between these two words. There is a fault. Listen again. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 15. For all things are for your sake. What I've said so far. It's for your sake. That the abundance grace might through abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many. So many must bring thanksgiving. And there must be abundant grace. I'm just retreating. Increase. It will bring an increase to the glory of God. But listen, the glory, everything that I said so far shows that the glory speaks of the glory inside of you. So, it must be an increase to the glory of God in you. Do you hear? No. It is not an increase to God's glory. They actually had to put there a, a comma for us to understand it in context. For all these things is for your sake. So that you can increase in the glory of God. Can you hear what I'm saying? It will be abundant grace. It's for your sake. It will be abundant grace. So that's another word. Uh, abundant grace. Abundant grace. So that you can increase to, go to the glory. That must be revealed in you. Of God. Verse 17. For our light afflictions. Which is but for a moment. Worketh as for us a far more exceedingly eternal weight of glory. Where must the glory be shine? In us. A eternal glory means a everlasting glory. Where? In us. For our light afflictions, 
which is but for a moment. Look here. The light afflictions, this side, is for a moment, so that the glory, this side, can be eternal, so that it can work for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. And then it ends. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So look to me. This is, this is going to be so easy, capizi, that you will say, oh boy, I can see it. I can see it. Because we do not know why we are having temptations, trials, light afflictions. We do not know why, but all these trials, temptations, in us, brings forth a, a eternal glory. A glory, but the eternal glory. It brings, this light afflictions, brings inside of us, Five that stands and are tasted. Endurances, steadfastness, patience, crown of life, a, a super surpassing power. Uh, what is this? Resurrection life. A, abundance grace within us. This brings this. Why do we need it? This is written for, this is for your sight. This brings this. So, look to me. I'm going to explain to you. There is a man. He loves God. He says to the Lord Jesus, More of you and less of me. Tomorrow, He's in light afflictions. There is trials. There is tribulations. There is things naturally coming against him. There is temptations and things. But he stands steady, fast. He has faith in God. He has endurance. I keep on my eyes on the unseen. I have patience. I'm waiting for God. He has trials, tribulations, afflictions, sufferings. But he is patient. He is steadfast. That is you show that you wear the crown of life. That you have the glory. That is the abundance of grace. That is the resurrection life in you that is shown. That is the sons of God that is being revealed. This shows you. This is all this great awesome words. Shows you that the glory of God is in your heart. In earth and clay. So Jesus would look to you and say... Yeah, he's earth and clay. Yes, his heart is dark, but there's a light, there's a treasure, there's a glory inside. There's life inside. See how we do things. And the way how you do this is the way how you show the glory and the power. Uh, you show your sonship. The sons that need to be revealed is not the people that must walk on the water. The sons that is being revealed is those that I can see. Oh, Marilyn. Susie, Johanna, Judy, whoever. I see the heart of the Father. I see the glory. I see the light. And whatever God is seeing to you, whatever light sufferings and things you go through, you show this 
And this is the manifestation of you are a son. And the, the skipping, the creation waits for the sons of God to be revealed. For 2,000 years, is the many sons that was being revealed by the heart and their, by their faith and by their endurance and by their steadfastness and by their patience, by the glory and the life of God, by showing us they have a crown of life inside of them. And we are waiting for sons to be revealed. And we never see the sons being revealed and some die. Oh, that guy is dead. Oh, he was not the son. So the whole we place the scripture in the future. But you must tell yourself, hey man, all the sufferings that come to me, uh, I'm going to be tested. I am strong in the Lord. I have his life. I have the faith of God. I am endure. I endure. I'm standing after the heart of God. I will give love. What am I doing? God is saying, he's a son that's being revealed. And the whole creation waits for the sons to be revealed. What? His heart and <laughs> all who he is, all who he has, and all that he does. Amen. Uh, can you see what I'm saying? Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I pray, Lord, wing will the sons of God being revealed. The big guys, the prophets, the great men of God. That helped this world, evangelists and stuff. Reinhard Bonke and Billy Graham and Oral Roberts and Quibus and all these people, they are going. They are going into the clouds. When will the sons of God be revealed? No, man. I see. I see you. I see you. God is saying, I see you. You must tell yourself, I'm a son and I'm revealed. How am I revealed? By the light afflictions, show my sonship. The light sufferings, show my power. The light, show that I am steadfast in the Lord. I trust in the Lord. I have patience in the Lord. I have the heart of God. When some sin against me, I say, I forgive you. What am I? I'm a son. Where? Revealed. And the creation waits for that. And we are showing some of us who knows the revelation knows. You need this to be, you need this part to know. You need to be sharing the sufferings of Christ. But the sufferings of Christ, He died for you. You don't need to die. You don't need, listen, this sufferings, this trials and temptation is not sickness. It's not cancer. It's not those stuff. I mean, this trials and tribulations is when someone oppress you because you are a Christian. When money is stolen from you. When people say all kinds of things of you. That is suffering a light affliction on you because you are a, ch a child of God. But you, that brings something out of you. To show you. Because this sufferings and trials and tribulations so shows not all Christians as sons. Can you hear what I'm saying? This must come to show you are a son. That's why you need this. Ah, oh, be happy when you fall in all kinds of tribulation and trials and temptations. Be happy. No man, you are crazy. I'm not going to be happy. Yes, be happy. Because what? It is for your sake to show you are a son. So tomorrow, if trust and tribulation co uh, comes to you, you must say to yourself, this is, this is an opportunity for me to show God's heart. 
I have eternal glory inside of me. I have eternal life inside of me. I have a super passing power inside of me. And I believe, listen now, I believe the more we are going to show God's love and glory, the more God is going to reveal outside of us His awesome power. But God will not use us because the glory must come within us. God will not use you if the glory is not within you. The love is not in you. If you do not have the love of the Father, this is what showed your sonship, your love, your care, your kindness. That shows your sonship. And the miracles that flows out of our hands is because of the fruit and the heart that we carry from God is the only extension of that. We must not wait for come on and walk on the water of us to think that's the sons. God will say to you, come and walk on the water at the right moment when we need to walk on the water in front of the right people. But that is not the manifestations. You have eternal glory inside of you. In earthen jar vessels, there is a treasure. And that treasure, according to what I read to you, is this. Can you see it? I hope you understand. May God bless you. I want that. I want more of that. There is the Son of God. There is the Son of God. That guy is strange. He's the Son of God. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed. Amen. Hey guys, Hi. Lemuel Veneman here from True North Ministries. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also, go follow our Instagram page. Link is in the description. Thank you. Blessings. Amen.